That was weird. I apologize. So I just got back from the CCA conference. That was my first time in Nashville. Christian comedy conference. Wait, you know what? It was mind blowing. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had my doubts, which is a part of having faith. The point is, I was a little skeptical at first. Like I wasn't sure what I was getting into and I'm not really trying to tell Jesus jokes. Don't get me wrong. I like the guy. We're friends. All of this to say, I'd go to this conference really unsure of what to expect, but I was genuinely blown away by the talent. And it's not that they were there trying to teach people how to tell jokes about God or Jesus or church or whatever. These were people who just had a really deep faith and who also genuinely were just really funny and loved to make people laugh. I think laughter is such a gift because you really feel alive when you laugh and to be able to gift somebody with the feeling of feeling alive is huge. So these people were basically like doctors. It was like going to a conference with a bunch of Patch Adamses. K. Dodd, oh my gosh, I almost peed. Lisa Mills, where did you come from? Marty Simpson is probably the best storyteller I've ever met. Robert G. Lee, who works in Hollywood, like warming up TV sets. I don't even know if that's the right expression. I'd go to that TV show just to see the warm up. I didn't even know that was a thing. I got to go with some amazing other comics from San Diego. Lisa Gilbert, who is just hysterical. Maria Herman, a Canadian-Australian. <laughs> you can't get any funnier than that. Okay, so she's not really Canadian, but she is Australian. And when we went into the bathroom at this bar in downtown Nashville, we told this lady that we were comedians and this lady just flipped out and started hugging us and saying how much she loved us. And we were like, wow, this lady really likes comedians. So we asked her if we could get her on video and she said, Hey, welcome to Nashville. I love my Canadian. You know, I just met some ladies from Ottawa too. She thought Maria said Canadians. She loves Canadians. Then when she asked what part we were from, we said San Diego. So that was a joke the rest of the trip that we were from San Diego, Canada. And boy, did they have some dancing in Nashville. We went to this place called Tootsies. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Dancing all over the place like I owned it. At one point I was dancing in the front of the stage by myself and this lady was like, Are you married to the lead singer? No, not at all. You sure are dancing like you love him. What? What? Let me tell you what, I'm not a grinding kind of a dancer, but I do like to cut a rug. I'm all about the facial expressions. At one point the guy even was like, I want whatever these people are on. H2O, dude. Maria was dancing more than I was. I was like, get it, girl. The ribs, oh my gosh. Vegans, plug your ears, because I got something to say about this. The meat just melted off the bone. I mean, it was like butter. Nashville is an amazing city. Actually, while we were there, Blake Shelton was there. There was this huge crowd outside of a bar and we couldn't get past. I was like, hey, what's going on in there? Someone was like, oh, Blake Shelton's inside. I was like, really? What's he doing? They were like, nothing. Wait, what? He's not like performing? Nah, he's in there drinking. People were like packed out, just like trying to get a glimpse of him drinking. Good for you, dude. Way to create a following. I have a huge MySpace following. We got to tour the Grand Ole Opry, which was wicked cool. We got to go on stage and actually like, you know, technically just take a picture with the microphone, but if you put a microphone in my hand, I can't just really stand there and be still or silent. So I at least had to do a little intro. And Blake Shelton was playing the following night, which meant the person who was taking my picture said, you can now say you have warmed up the stage for Blake Shelton. Drop the mic, walk away. Except I learned in comedy, you don't actually ever want to drop the mic because it will break and the sound guy will get really mad. I met my new best friend. She doesn't know it yet, but she's going to be my new best friend. Is that creepy? I'm sorry. She's also hilarious. Grace is moving to San Diego. Hey, dude, she's also single. So if I seem a little too unstable for you, I could set you up. Oh, so they had a new comic. I don't know if competition is the word, audition, something, where we got to try our material out for like two minutes and then there was a chance if you were selected to perform at a showcase that night. I was like, how are we supposed to do material in two minutes? I have never done that, nor do I think I could do that. I'm a little wordy. But I was like, okay, I'll try to do something. And I did it and I got selected. And that night I got to perform in front of the whole conference which was really rad and mildly terrifying because it was four minutes and it was with material I've never put together before. I just did it, but it was fun and I loved it. And 
actually funny story. I was told I was going to go fifth in the lineup and they said if you want to watch the show before your turn, you can stay out in the auditorium. Just make sure you're backstage before you go up. So I was in the back of the auditorium because I wanted to watch the beginning of the show. Except Mike Goodwin, who's very funny and attractive and married, so I'm not saying that to imply anything other than I noticed. He did his set and then announced something to the effect of, please welcome our first comic all the way from San Diego, California, Miss J.J. Barrows. Then he looks to the side, which is where I am not because I am in the back of the auditorium, and I just start running down the aisles to get up to the stage and he seems surprised to see me running from the back which is fair because technically that's not where I was supposed to be but I was also not supposed to be first. So I get on stage, grab the mic and say, I didn't know I was first. And as he's walking off stage, he looks at his paper and says, oh wait, you're not. And he reaches for the microphone back. And as I realize I'm getting kicked off of stage just before I hand the microphone back over, I say, oh, I'm not first. This is just a Steve Harvey moment. And the crowd went wild. (sighs) Man, they laughed. Yeah, I know. God gave me that one on a silver platter. I got high fives all the way down the aisle. And I felt so good and terrified that I had to follow that. Because I was pretty certain my set was not going to be as funny as that. Someone actually came up to me after that and was like, you could probably just go home now. And I was like, I kind of want to. All in all, Nashville, it was a success. Rick Roberts did a great job putting it together. It was really cool for me to go to something that involved comedy and entertainment and stuff that I want to do in this life, but that also challenged me on a deeper level. I think sometimes people hear the word Christian and they're like, oh God, stigma. I totally get it, but like with any, not even just faith, any job title, any even just extracurricular activity, there's stigmas. It'd be easy to think, you know, all bankers are a certain way or all surfers are a certain way. Like they're not all tools, just the one I dated. Kidding, that's a joke, that's a joke. God forgave him, not me. Again, another joke, another joke. All this to say, it was really cool to be with other people who are looking for something more than just to make a name for themselves. I felt super supported and I felt super loved and that in turn made me want to support and love others in in their ventures in life. I can just as easily go to a Christian comedy conference as I can go out and dance for six hours straight at Tootsie's. There's no either or. There's just this one big grand life that we have and there's a lot of options of what we could do with it. But keep your clothes on. I will definitely be back next year. Couldn't have done it or gone without Lisa and Maria. So a huge shout out to them. Nashville, I'll be back. Amazing grace, Amazing girl. how sweet the sound, sweetest sound that saved a wretch like, like me.